Hi guys, this is Matt Granger, that Nikon guy, back for part two of the four-way 50mm Nikon prime lens shootout. Now, part one, we looked at the build quality and the specs of the lenses. This part, we're going to look at the autofocus capabilities or the focusing capabilities, because this is actually a little bit trickier on this one than on the 70 to 200 video I did, because the 1.8D, which is the cheap and cheerful version in this setup, um, doesn't have a built-in autofocus motor. The 1.8G and 1.4G both have the new AFS silent wave motor, and then the 1.2 is completely manual focus. So how to compare these head-to-head -head is a little bit challenging. I'm actually going to do it on a D700, which has the built-in autofocus motor, so we can at least compare the three bottom lenses. And then I've got the 1.2, set up on there as a non-CPU lens. Um, you can see the 50mm playlist to see how I've done all of this stuff. And it has a focus confirmation in the screen. So just for fun, it um, really depends on your skill, so it won't be directly comparable. But I'll do a test showing me doing the manual focus and see how that time compares as well. So I'm gonna run a couple of different tests here to test the focusing ability of these lenses. And then you can compare it for yourself to see how they handled it? Did they hunt around to get focus? Was it instant? That kind of thing. So let's jump straight in. Alrighty, this is the setup for our first test. Seems fairly straightforward. Um, we're going to be focusing on the bark of this tree, but I just wanted you to see the full scene so that you have an idea of what we're really dealing with here. Now let's go in close on the LCD so you can see how we're going. So it's a reasonably sunny day, but we're totally in the shade, popping the live view on will just give you an idea. So why this is actually a little bit of a challenge is we're gonna, well, we'll be using the central focus point, so that's not too bad, but the subject is backlit. So it's the darkest part of the frame that we're focusing on. And there isn't a huge amount of contrast in the bark. There's enough though. So we'll use each of the four lenses and see how the focus goes. Okay, now I want to be perfectly clear, there's no tricks in this. I'm going to be using exactly the same settings. I'm not moving either of these cameras. I've got them both set up on my Gitzo tripod, so nothing's going to move. And all I'm going to do is change the lenses, run the same test, okay? So this is the 1.8D. First of all, from Infinity Focus, let's see how it goes. Pretty instant. Maybe this is too simple a test quite instant. Now let's go from closest focused. Okay, I don't know if you could pick up on that, but there was a little hesitation at the end, but still really fast. Okay, great. Excellent results. Okay, same test with the 1.8G from Infinity Focus. Fast. And then from closest focus. Okay, that's a much smoother action. I don't know that it was any faster than the 1.8D, but it just is a smooth and stop rather than any hesitation at the end. Okay, it does slow down a little at the end, but still no hunting there at all. Let's look, okay, on the 1.4G from Infinity Focus. Again, too easy. All these lenses excel in this sort of test. And then from closest focus, closest focus again. Okay, again, just smooth and easy. And here we are on the beautiful old 1.2. Now, as I explained, you need to use the camera in manual focus. You can check the link where I explained how to do all of this. But basically, once it's set up, put it into manual focus, and then I'll get a, manu a confirmation in the screen that it's actually in focus. So I'll, um, I'll do that now, and you'll just have to take my word for it that it is in focus. Okay, so from... Infinity focus, that's focused, okay? So slower and I did need to hunt. Let's try it again. Okay, from infinity, okay, that's focused. Okay, now from close focus. Yep, focused. And again, from close, focused. Just to prove that I got it, there's the shot. Okay, so we're out in the rain. I'm actually filming the next part of this series on image quality and found that my 1.8D lens that's on here 
was struggling to focus. So I thought, let's make it a focus test as well. I haven't finished editing that this video, so let's throw it in. So it's got good contrast on the skin. I'll give you a close up on the video. Let's see how the 5100 with the 24 to 70 does with focusing in video. Okay, no real problem. So you can see it has got good contrast on the skin, but it's all exactly the one shade. So that's a tough test for a lens, trying to pick up contrast on something that has a little bit of texture, but no color difference. So let's see how they go. Okay, this is using a central focus point, so it's got its best chance to, to get it. And let's start at infinity focus and see how this lens goes. Okay, it stopped searching, it went right forward and back and no luck. Okay, that time, it still won't take, but it's almost there, it's still searching, my finger hasn't left the trigger yet. Okay, it took that long and it did get focus. And it is sharp. Now let's try from close focus. Easier. That's stuck, it's a bit lost. So it gets there, but it's inconsistent on how long it actually takes to get there. Next lens. Here we are on the 1.8G from Infinity Focus. Same focal point. Okay, so it did go back and forward, but it got it. Oh, that time even quicker. Now from close focus. Okay, quite fast. No, no real struggle for this lens. This time on the 1.4G from Infinity. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it still did do a shuffle back, then came back for it. Okay, but still no problem. And from close focus, oh, it took a little bit longer. And again, okay, that time just the same as the 1.8. Okay, so I'm in my basement now, and this is my go-to place for low light focus testing. Um, I'm not going to make it too easy by letting the, the camera focus on the light switch there. I'm actually focusing at the brick wall, but I don't want it to be impossible. So I am going for right on the T intersection of the white line. So there's a fair bit of contrast there, but it's very, very dark in here. Now, it may not look that dark on video. First of all, the video compensates and is boosting the exposure and probably shooting at a crazy ISO. Second of all, I'm doing the test in the dark. Okay, here I am again. Okay, so let's see how they go. I'm starting off with the 1.8D and you're just gonna have to take my word for it when I press the button to when it gets the focus. So this is from furthest focus from infinity. Pressing the button now. And it got it, that's impressive. And from close focus from now. Still trying, still trying, still trying. Still trying. Hasn't given up though. Still trying. Still trying. We'll have to call that a fail. Let's give it another go from close focus. From now. Okay. okay, it did get it in the end. I'll show you that shot to show you just how dark it is. That's a quarter of a second at ISO 2000. Okay, now on the 1.8G, let's see how it goes from infinity. Oh, hunted around and didn't get it. Let's try again. Nope, didn't get it and gave up. Now let's try from close focus from now. Okay, it's very close and it's kind of paused but hasn't given lock on. Okay, let's try that again from close focus now. No, it seems to give up the ghost and not try anymore. That's a shame, so that's zero from two. 1.4G from infinity focus from now. Uh, same, it did a hunt all the way through and back and didn't find it, let's try again. Oh, it got it that time. Second time it got it. I'll show you that shot as well. And now let's try from closest focus, starting now. Still searching, got it. Okay, that's good. Let's try it again from closest focus, shooting now. 
Okay, got it both times. Okay, now let's try the 1.2. And remembering, I'm going to be doing this manually and see if we can just get the confirmation to actually work in this little light. Now, I've got to say, I'm not liking my chances of this, to be perfectly honest. But all I can do is try. It's got a lot of light to play with, despite the low light being a 1.4 lens, 1.2 lens. So let's try it. Okay, I'm trying from now. And yes, it got me focus. Ha! Winner! Let's try that again from infinity focus. Trying now. Got it. And from close focus. Ready, go. Got it. And I think that was even faster than the others. Ha! Let's try that again. From close focus, ready, go. Yeah, I reckon with a bit of practice I can get it faster than the autofocus from infinity this time. Go. Yeah, and they're all pretty close. I'll pop up a couple there for you. Okay, so pretty hilarious to think that the winner of the focus challenge in low light is the only lens that doesn't have autofocus. The old manual 1.2. That said, it wasn't just the lens that you know, dominated in that test. Having 1.2 means the sensor gets a lot of light to be able to make its reading. So the 1.2 team with the focus confirmation that the D700 gives me means that we could get accurate focus and because I've had a fair bit of practice at it, I can do it reasonably quickly. So interesting outcome, <laughs> an unlikely winner, but um, there you go, if you can, get used to it and manage it, then manual focus can sometimes be the way to go. Okay guys, so there's part two of our four-way showdown. Um, all excellent lenses, obviously. It's a bit funny having the 1.2 manual focus in a focusing competition. Um, you know, if you value fast, accurate autofocus, then you probably want to go with one of the two G lenses. They are the fastest and most reliable. If you don't mind um, or you'd like to even play with manual focus, then the 1.2, I love it. And if you're using a 5100 or 3100 or that sort of body that doesn't have an autofocus motor in it, then you'll also need to manually focus with the 1.8D. So something for you to think about. So stick with us. Part three is going to be an image quality and sharpness test, and that'll be coming up very soon. The playlist is there. Click through and subscribe if you haven't already. Click to like if you enjoyed the video and check out some of the links that are coming up next. Thanks for watching guys, this is Matt Granger, that Nikon guy.